He came home one day and he goes, oh, hey, Lise, remember Tagurit? Um, Well, he hurt himself and he probably won't take care of himself. And he goes, I'm thinking maybe I'll just keep him. What do you, what do you think? And I'm like, so when's he coming? Tomorrow, he says. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we're on board. So that was how it started out with Tag. The craziest thing happened, of course, the first day he arrived there. Uh, I went to see him. He was in the back of his stall. I called him over. He came over, and then it was love at first sight. Uh, he nuzzled me. I absolutely loved the guy uh, on a personal level. He got injured at the, you know, around the half mile, and he was kind of, his rear leg was kind of flopping. That ended his career at seven. A tagger at Hanover broke stride at the back of the main group, just outside the quarter pole. He finished on, you know, heart and guts, and it was pretty sad to see him in the stall, so uncomfortable. It was really heartbreaking. I saw these really long, long toes, and then a shoe way on the end of that very long toe. He wasn't moving correctly as far as the mechanics in relation to hoof balance. He was really landing more on his toes, which throws off the entire normal mechanics of the lower limb. The vet came and he said, you may as well take this horse and dig a hole for him because his quality of life is done. And it didn't faze me because I wasn't ready to give up on him. And like Stuart said, you know, he goes, he's a racehorse, man. He'll come back. He'll come back from anything. We decided, Lisa and I, to keep him. We stumbled across uh, Amwell Ridge with Maria Katsavani, and it's probably the best thing I've ever done. We then uh, began a, uh, a rigorous project with Maria. Teaching us the nuances of feeling him and watching him do something like, she's telling us he's falling in, he's looking to you, he's relying on you to tell him, you can do this, keep going. And being connected to him like that is just, it's amazing. The conversation that you have with your horse at this, at this level is like so incredible. As time went on, and as Maria worked with him, I could see beautiful changes happening in his feet and in his body. It just brings me such joy to see them at their best. The way he moves now is what I've wanted for him from the beginning. Beautiful. Unbelievable. Stu, that looked like Grand Prix! That looked Grand Prix! <laughs> In four, five, six months, he was a different looking horse. And now that he's been there a year, the difference between even from when he got there to now is unbelievable. But the difference from the six month point to now is, is incredible. Here's the story of a horse who has been injured time and time again, and maybe not rideable perhaps, but they took him on. But without the support of the consistency of presence for Lisa and Stu, if not for the education around the evolution of his foot being balanced, and without the support of also the Equi family, the environment we provide for the horse, this miracle wouldn't have happened. And this miracle continues to evolve. And that's the exciting part of it all. <laughs>